What's up guys? Uh, new day and we're working on the super motor. Super motor time. So Chad's gonna explain to you what we're doing to it. Uh, you yeah, well, yeah, if you look back at our uh, couple of videos ago there, the oil pump mod on the on the super truck, we're doing the same thing to this. Yeah, so 7M GT turbo oil pump mod with the 8N fittings and stuff. So you got the fittings over there and you got the line too. Uh, so this is the pump here, guys. You can see the shaft down there runs off the front of this gear so you see there you can run off that gear we got our so that's what we eight a n line yeah that's what we used last time we got our Those. 45 and our 90 yeah. and then our fittings for the block and the pump so that's the number there guys see there and then there's two fittings in there you yeah two see. fittings here yeah um i think it's uh almost got the memorized by now it's 18 millimeter I 1.5, uh -huh. and then uh, uh, to the 8AN, and then it's a uh, 3.8 NPT male. Just like that, boys. Yeah, to 8AN. So this one here, we'll lift this out. Yeah, pull the pump back out. I was just showing them the gear runs off, so it's a yeah, lot easier so to see the there. Gear. See, it's got a banjo bolt right off the right off the pump, which is terrible for flow. So we did so. we did the mod to the truck, and it was night and day, guys. Oh, night and day flow, like it's amazing. Well, we we torqued all this back together. Yeah. Too. We put the bearings back in. Everything's checked all everything. back together. Everything turns. Maybe you can turn that for them, Chad. Oh yeah, yeah, my job. Well. Show them how easy it turns. Oh, good man. Yeah, nice and smooth. Beautiful working engine. Yeah. Now it's gonna. So we're gonna get this thing back together as soon as the pump mod's done. We're gonna seal up the pan. Get that pan back on and then paint it all up, get it all prepped. Get some nice paint for the block and stuff. I got it all pretty clean anyways, but we'll go back over it. Some brake clean. The only thing we got to do uh, majorly is I'm going to get a pump for it. I don't yeah. have to get a whole kit because this time about the new. Yeah. So well, I'll just get a pump alone. And uh, we're going to modify this uh, coolant line here. It comes and it feeds back. Um, I can't remember which way I don't want it, but oh, up here it goes to the throttle body. Yeah. And I have that all unhooked because we're not, you know, throttle body's going to be in a completely different spot. So yeah. all this stuff here, I had it all blocked off and looped last time. So I just want to eliminate it from even coming across the back of the block and causing heat, right? Yeah. You can have coolant going back there for heat. Once nothing, it's flipped so. over, we'll basically show you guys yeah, what's going yeah, on. Yeah, but there. we'll just 90 that out and get rid of that and just have the two. Yeah, we heat, can. Because I'm keeping the, the, the heater, right? Yeah, even, the even with that, we can weld the, the pipe and still use your original pipe. Exactly. Just block it here and, and yeah. weld the tip. Perfect. No way you go. All right, guys. So uh, we'll get you on a time lapse and uh, show you how to do this. All right, guys. So I'm just uh, shimming the super pump. I just use five of these. Washer goes spacing. It's great, so it's tighter. Okay, I got five in here. You got the line? Get the line. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that would be a fail. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn. Let's okay. Do it. Okay. okay, so guys, <clears throat> this is the way we got. We had to put the bolts in, just set it in real quick. But uh, this is our 90 to our 45. So to make your lines, you want to go to the edge here. And we're going to kind of we got to keep compensate for the oil pan, eh? Yeah, because so, we, yeah, you got to beat the oil pan in a bit. So the hole, so yeah, we'll go, let's see. Go there, bud. Right in the middle of your fender now? Yeah, and then we'll cut it there. Then we'll show them how to okay. just go around. Like give her a good amount four there. Times there. Just to hold the strands nice and tight. Yeah, take those bolts back out, and then I'll do this. Yeah. We'll show oh them. yeah, okay, I gotta take it right out. Just so I can get this yeah. fitting back on. Okay. Again. All right. All right. So, so cut it right in the middle of the of the tape. That's our yeah, Try to cut it as straight as possible. Straight as possible. <laughs> nice friggin' grinder. Yeah, my cement fully charged grinder. Safety third, right, man? Yeah. Yeah. Nice glasses, bro. What you working on there, bud? All right, guys, so we're making the oil <laughs> line here. So first thing, you want to make sure you get some oil. Some just, sort of lubricant. Yeah, just lube everything up. And then you're just going to pull here. you got to go to the right. So you want to just kind of make sure you can walk those in. Spin it slow, jam it in. Yeah, you'll feel it. There. And you give her till she goes all the way. Yeah, you can see the rings sealed all the way around. Right? Mm, so. Sort of. 
Man, I can't go anymore anyways. Hold on, let me get my light just so. Just like that. So it's sealed all the way to the ring. So that's the rubber of the hose, right? Yeah, so that's okay. sealed. You can't turn anymore. So I just put a little, a little oil on that there. And then I'm just gonna spin this girl in. So you can push this. Just like that. So then I usually put them in here. Just easy. Toss it in the vise. Yeah, I need uh, the rag. Is that it? I think it's an inch. Yeah. How is it? So, just gonna go easy. You'll feel the bottom out once it gets to the bottom. So just kind of hold the hose straight. Just don't over tighten the press because uh, it'll actually crack. These are good ones though, Russell or Vibrant. But so really you just tighten it and bottom it out. You don't, bottom, there's no, yeah. you know, you don't crank it right around it's or nothing. It's out, so that's one side. And that's it, that's in, two. you can't can't pull that out. Nothing, eh? Nope. That's her, she's, she's hooked. So yeah, that's one side. That's one side. Do the same to this one. Same idea. Just set that there. Rip that tape off of you. Yeah, take that tape off. Bad. Ay, yo, you stabbed me so. <laughs> it's so sharp. Yeah, it's sharp. Yeah, it sucks. There's a... Should be a little st spot that was started. Oh, yeah. There it is. Drive that right up under my fingernail. Yeah. Yeah, it feels great. I love it. <laughs> Next time I'll let you do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, those birds don't really matter there. You just gotta make sure you get them all in. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> Jam it all the way. You just got your rubber line all the it's way. All in there. Mm -hmm. Any type of lube, really. KY, whatever you got. Whatever you got in the back of the house. <laughs> Same thing. Just gonna push that in. Weird they gave you the smaller one. Eh? Yeah, I know it's weird, but it was like fifty bucks for the silver one and twenty-two bucks for the blue and red one. So I was like, give me the Spider-Man colors <laughs> for sure, because that's just crazy. Takes the cheaper one. Yeah. Yeah, just barely snug that. Should have the right wrench, but just make sure it's tight. It goes easy anyways. Yeah. So just like that, hold you. This one. Yeah, no way. Mm -hmm. Get it stuck. Under there. Yeah. I guess she's buttoned out. You go? Yeah, you see. We're digging into the edge, so she's buttoned out. Nice. She's bent. Just like that, guy. It that wants to be stationary. That one's stationary, so that one twists. One twist, that's yeah. how we do it. Yeah. So that'll be like that, that'll be like that. Yeah. Cool. We're back on the set. You just pull this up, hold that line a little bit. Hold that line? Yeah. Get it close. Yeah, just don't tighten it, sir. Let's see it back in. One bolt. And both. Like that. Make sure it's come down. Come on, girl. Did 
Yeah, it's tight to get started right here. Tight and lubed up. Right there. Yeah, she fell. Just because they make it that way. Air, I can't hold it because it's all oily. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was trying to turn it too. You have to move it now. There you go. It's all full of oil there, you can't turn it. Air. It's like no grip. That one's really stiff though because it's Ouch. a solid one, anyways. That's nice. Look at that. We got good clearance. Perfect. That's better than the first one, bro. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. They're always better the second time, you right? Sure? <laughs> That's why the truck's the guinea pig. Eh? <laughs> yeah. I got a couple mods I'm doing with the truck too there, yeah. and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it on the truck first in case that lights on fire. We don't wanna burn the super. So <laughs> so <laughs> so we shimmed the pump. We did the oil mods here, and then uh, Chad might even pull it apart again later and do this. But yeah, probably, I'm gonna copy not, what Chicky does, but it's probably not needed. But we can do it. Yeah, yeah. we can do it. I just. You guys, it's really hard to see, but there's like... There's a tube in there. This tube comes out f past this point to like here. So it still has to suck for oil. So if that's gone, it'll just do its yeah. thing, won't scavenge. Yeah, yeah so. it would be. So we'll, we'll probably do that later. But yeah, this thing's ready to go back together. We're going to clean the pan up. Get her sealed up and painted. She's ready to go. All right, guys. So just so you know, when you do this, you're going to have to do a little bit of clearance here. <laughs> so you can see where the, the pan used to run. Literally right, used to run right underneath. So you just gotta massage it, just gently. Just give her a quick massage with your little hammer there. Get your ball peen out yeah. and just beat on it a bit. Yeah. We know you all can, so be just beat her. So turn around and show them the other side. Yeah, cheap. The well, green side. I mean, show them the, the mad side. <laughs> yeah. That's the mean side. So you can see that it didn't, we didn't really we didn't make it come out That's just, when you go fast, you gotta try to, you gotta modify it. Had to massage it, and then yeah. this side too has to be straight across. Yeah, you so, wanna try to get this tight. Yeah, so make sure it's like straight across. <laughs> and that. as odd as it is, depending on the year, these these here will be in a different spot depending on the year of your seven yes. M. It could be here, it could be here. So that was your oil cooler. Yeah, that this one. goes to the oil cooler, so they're they're in a different spot sometimes. So you got to be careful. It's Wait, yeah. just something you got to watch out for. But they yeah. all fit. They this do is fit. Lo this looks badass. So this is how you do your mod for your seven M to get some turns. more oil flow. Doesn't yeah. really bring the pressure up much, but the flow is amazing. Yeah, it's, well, it's we had, once flows. you started driving, it had 80 PSI, like, yeah, yeah bam, like, right away. So show them how it fits now. Yeah. So really you gotta, it. even when you do it, you should try to get this side to go down first. Just like that. I got a stud in a bad spot, too, but it goes right down, yeah, bam, boom. Just like that. That's nice. And you just get, you can tell that it, it still moves back and forth, so you're not rubbing anything, you know, you're not hitting. So Chad's going to uh, basically clean up his pan, get it all ready for paint, get all the oil off it, and get all the green off it. <laughs> seal it all back up, so she won't have an oil problem with the right stuff. Yeah, yeah, we'll right stuff that right on you there. You see? Yeah. But all right, guys.